Hello friends, today we are going to present the practical video about audiolingual method. But first, let me introduce the group members. The group members are Dewi Nawang Wulan with student number 130, Imelda Fani Swastika with student number 127, and Tersano Valita with student number 120. Before we get deeper into the practice, we will explain you what audiolingual method is. Definition The audiolingual method, army method, or NUKI, is a method used in teaching foreign languages. It is based on behaviorist theory, which postulates that certain trains of living things, and in this case, Human could be trained through a system of reinforcement. Principles of ALM Number 1. Language forms occur naturally within a context. Number 2. No room for native language or MT. Number 3. To provide students with a native speaker like model. Number 4. Language learning is a process of habit formation. Audiolingual method Procedures in an audiolingual class First, student hears a model dialogue Second, student repeats each line of the dialogue Third, certain keywords or phrases may be changed in the dialogue Fourth, key structures from the dialogue serve as the basic for pattern drills or different kinds Fifth, the student practice Substitutions in the pattern drills. The strength of audio lingual method. Number one. Students learn the language automatically without stopping to think. Number two. Students develop the five skills. Number three. Students learn vocabulary through dialogues. Number four, grammar is introduced by examples. Number five, first, you are taught how to say the words orally and then writing and reading. Number six, students Develop the pronunciation skill. The weaknesses of audiolingual method. Number one, there is no meaningful learning. Number two, there is too much repetition. Number three, students can lose their attention easily. Number four, there is no creativity. Number five, the method doesn't pay attention to learners' feelings. Number six, students are untrained in grammar. And now, we are going to practice the audiolingual method. Hello, good morning, my students. Hi, good Hello. morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss. How are you? Are you doing well? Yeah, yes. doing well. How are you, I'm Miss? I'm doing well. How are you, Miss? I'm good too. Thank you. Great. Um, um, unfortunately, because of coronavirus, we have to study from home. You guys already miss each other, right? Yeah, yes, I miss you. I miss you, miss. I miss you so much. Oh my much. god, that's so sweet. Oh. Uh, are you ready to start our lesson today? Yes. yes All right, so today we are going to begin our lesson with listening to the sentences that I will read for you. So listen carefully. Later, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. 
Listen carefully to the instruction, okay? Now, let's begin our lesson. I read every day. When I say we, it means that you have to change the sentences into we read every day. But let's practice first. Try to repeat after me. We read every day. We read every day. We read One every more time. day. We read every day. We read every we day. We read every day. If I say I, you directly mention the full sentence. I read every day. Remember that when the subject changes, the verb follows. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it, miss. Okay, let's do it. I I read every day. I read every you, day. You you read every day. She she read every she day. She reads every day. Be careful because we have the subject she the verb should be reads. Ah, uh, I forget. Time. Sorry, miss. No problem. We're still learning. She. She reads, she reads every, day. every day. He. He reads every he day. He reads every day. We. We read, we read every, every day. They. They read. They read every day. Very great. Now we are going to learn about the sentence in another tense. Do you remember what tense we just learned? There's another one. Remember? Is it simple present, Miss? Yes, you're right. It is used to show. Repetition, habit, or generalization. You remember that there's a time sign uh, every day. Okay. Okay. Okay, miss. Now, the second tense that we are going to learn is present continuous. Tirsa, you remember when the present continuous is used? Present continuous is used when something is happening now that's right present continuous is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now let's try with the example when i say i you must follow me with the complete sentence i am reading now okay ready yes i I am I read reading now. now. You, you are you are reading reading now. now. He, he he is, is reading, reading now. now. She, she is reading now. Reading now. They. They, they are, are reading now. We, we, we are, are reading. reading now. Excellent. Now move to the third sentence. Mm, but I want to ask you to guess which sentence it is. I will give you the clue. Pay attention to the clue, okay? Okay. This verb is used to talk about things that happened in the past and already finished. Dewi Nawang Wulan, you know which, which tense is it? Uh, simple past tense, miss. Good, yeah. We're going to learn about simple past tense now. Do you remember which verb is used in simple past tense? Mm, no. Is Lisa, it? Can you help? Miss. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We use 
verb do in expressing simple past tense. Now let's continue with small games. Are you excited for small games? Yeah! Yes, miss. I'm excited. The game is related to the simple, simple past tense. First, you have to change the verb that I say with the appropriate verb used in simple past tense. I will give you the example first. If I say, I'm doing nothing two days ago, you, one of you should quickly answer, I did nothing two days ago. Do you get it? Yes, miss. Okay, let's try. Number one. I'm going to Jakarta yesterday. I went, I went to Jakarta yesterday. yesterday. Number two, I take the train to Surabaya a year ago. I took, I took the train in to Surabaya a year ago. ago. Number three. Oh, it's afternoon. I don't have breakfast this morning. Oh, oh it's, it's afternoon. afternoon. I didn't have breakfast this morning. Number four. Last night, I'm studying grammar for two hours. Last night, last night, I studied grammar, grammar for two hours. hours. Yay, you did <laughs> okay, do you want more challenging games? Yes, miss. Mm, yes, okay. miss. Uh, I will do it in Indonesian. I, so I will say the sentence in Indonesian and you will translate what I said, okay? Okay, miss. Number one. Tiga hari yang lalu, kucing saya melahirkan. Three, Three days ago, ago my, my cat gave, my cat birth. gave birth. Number two, sekarang saya sedang menunggu seseorang. Now, now I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for someone. Number three, saya biasanya membaca buku fiksi ilmiah. I usually, usually read science, science fiction, fiction books. books. Finally, you can pass the games. You are so smart. I am so proud of Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Give me A. You mean A in Indonesian? A in no. Yes. <laughs> for now, Ang. Yes, only for now, Ang. I will give A for Tirsa. Yeah. <laughs> Now we are going to have a question and answer activity together using those three tenses, which, is, which are simple present tense, present continuous, and simple past tense. So both of you should ask and answer each other using those three tenses. It can be started with something simple like, hmm, where do you live? If you if you don't understand yet, I will guide you. Tirsa? Yes, miss. Where do you live? Tell Nawang so that she can visit you someday. Okay. 
I live near Gembira Lokazu. Nawang, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have one boyfriend. Lisa, what are you doing now? I'm talking to you now. Uh, did you fall asleep last night? No, it was you fell asleep last night. <laughs> ah, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Ooh, you're so creative, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Miss. Hmm, what time is it? Hmm. Now that the time is up, sadly, the class is still. Mm. I'm so sad. See you next week, students. See you, Miss. Thank See you, you, Miss. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all from us. Thank you.